you may be in a position where for some reason you have joystick drift on your PlayStation 5 controller. Now this is a very common issue and it can happen pretty much for anybody, but the very first thing to keep in mind is that if you are having actual joystick drift, this may be more of a hardware issue than a software or a temporary fix. So you may just want to you know, check your sources of getting it repaired or getting replaced, just keep that in mind. But the very first thing to keep in mind is to figure out which specific joystick is causing the issue. Now let's say if it's this left one, right? Well, what you'd want to do here is you want to go ahead and kind of bring your joystick around and all you want to do is go and just kind of inspect it a little bit and see if there's anything crazy going on. If it's actual joystick drift, it may actually be a component internal that you can't even see. But if it isn't, you may actually be able to see some residue or some maybe like some sticky situation going on in the side, something like that. If you see a lot of dust and stuff stuck around it, you may want to just kind of to each direction of the joystick kind of blow in that direction so just blow into the top portion bottom left right and that may end up kind of freeing some of the dust and stuff whatever out you can also grab some sort of napkin or microfiber cloth and kind of clean out the sides as well that could also help clean out some of the inside but one thing i've seen a lot of people recommend is using something along the lines of this which is some isopropyl alcohol so what this does is pretty much like you know alcohol like rubbing alcohol basically and it's basically like a antiseptic it kills bacteria and kind of stuff like that so what they recommend doing is kind of pouring a little bit onto a napkin so just go ahead and pour a little bit on it you don't have to go overboard you don't want to water damage your controller you just want a little bit on it and if it isn't a hardware issue you can try your best of kind of you know kind of cleaning the sides of this controller out you can do the bottom as well do kind of the sides of whatever you want to try out and that very well could end up fixing the problem too again it's not a guarantee but that's another thing you can try looking into as well so those are pretty much the main ways to fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.